Hello, it's Sarah. And I want to talk about this book today, the Carve Stamp Play book by Julie Fafan Bowser. And it is, it's designing and creating custom stamps. Um, when I took my class with Kate Crane, um, Journal Soup, uh, and look back in my videos if you want to see about that, because I have several videos about that. Um, but she did some stamp carving. Uh, I think, I want to say that's the first time I really got, like, I have to do this. Um, we did this. I can't find the other one I did. And I did these two leaves. So, yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. I did, oh, and this one, but we did this other round one. I don't know where it is. I'll have to find that. Um, I went and got the Speedball um, carving tool, and I mean, it has a name, and Julie actually will go, I'll go over that in a minute. It, she has um, the same um, recommendations. I used the Speedball Speedy Carve, which is the rubber that you stamp, and a lot of people stamp, um, pink erasers. Uh, but I just bought this. I get it with my coupon, of course. Um, so this is basically all you need. The tool and something to carve. And you can carve um, anything you want. Okay, so this one actually comes with five blades, too. So that's why I thought it was great. Um, there's like a kit that you can get, but it's cheesier. It's not made as well, so I just got that. Um, so yeah, so Julie actually has, I haven't even gotten through the whole book at all um, because, you know, I need to try it. Um, <laughs> I need to get going with it. Uh, so these were very basic, the ones that I did for Kate's class. The first one I tried to do was a home sweet home. I love the saying home sweet home, and I don't have a stamp that says home sweet home. So, uh, yeah, didn't, didn't turn out so well. I'll show you what my stamps look like in a minute. But let's just go through here. I want to show you real quick. Carve Stamp Play um, introduction. Look at this, some of the stuff that she's made. Tags and she has these repeating patterns that she does. It's insane. She's amazing. She's a, she's a true artist, this lady. She's amazing. Okay, so it goes into materials and tools. Um, I do have my box cutter. I got a glass mat at the Christmas tree shops. Isn't it cute? very glary um, but you don't have to have it it's just that um, she likes having a glass mat and this was on clearance it was like 250 or something I was so happy anywho um, you need a I got a little metal erase uh, metal sorry uh, ruler got a metal ruler um, pencil pens ballpoint pens permanent markers and then ace to ace tone tissue and spoon that's for a different transfer method I haven't tried that one yet I'm just working on the the, the one that I use and it's you don't need any of that stuff um, but she's got like if you want to stamp on top of fabric or pattern paper anything so I haven't done a lot of this stuff yet but she gives a great uh, all the info you could possibly need, I'm telling you. Um, so here, okay, this is the first technique that I tried. If you want to write a word, you have to, you write it out, like, so I'm going to do, where did I put it? I'm going to do my name in a minute. I'm going to, I'll carve this one, but I'm going to do my name. So I just wrote it out in my Joanne Sharp style now <laughs> um, with pencil. And then you flip it over onto the rubber, and, ru and I actually use, she says to use your thumb, I use my, um, this thing, whatever it's called. And you get the impression on the stamp, so it's awesome. That's all you need to do. This is uh, called uh, transferring. This is the draw and rub transfer, she, she calls it. So um, it's super easy. So yeah, I'm going to show you all that. Then she goes into how you work the tool. And then there's two ways that you can, you can go when you're carving a stamp. You can either have the word be what's inked, you know, like you see here, and the arrow is inked, or it could be the opposite. Let me see, because she has an example of both. Here they are. Look. 
or you can have here in white because it doesn't touch the ink and the rest of the rubber touch the ink so that's showing the arrow so here the arrow gets inked and there the word gets inked and there's two different ways and see how she she colors it so that she knows where to carve so that's the very the best tip from this book because when I did mine I didn't do any of that stuff and I just winged it I just drew a pattern on the on the thing and went to town because that's what I do I mean I just try it right so let me show you what my stamps look like so I was playing and I have several stamps here I love my daisy my daisy turned out super cool and this is what it looks like um, pretty simple pretty basic because all the stuff I didn't carve is black and that's what's going to show up. So I'm not doing really detailed carving really in this one. I don't think so. But that's what it looks like. Here, here it is with like a couple colors. Isn't that cute? I'll zoom in a little bit. You know how I hate zooming. All right, so that's my Daisy. And then this one is kind of out of her book. It's She does a much bigger version of this stamp. I mean, I want to say it's like, you know, it's big. And so I just tried that. But again, it's very similar because everything's kind of big. Well, they're not. I'm starting to get much smaller. This was tricky. I mean, and you can see all those carving lines in there, right? But that's how it's stamped. And I used my Tim Holtz markers to, like, color the different sections of the stamp. And so I got it all in color. So that's that one. See, I did it here with my Tombow markers. I just got Tombow markers. I never had them before. And I'll I'm going to do another video about these um, after this. But that's with the Tombow markers. So a little bit more vibrant color. But the same thing, I just inked this stamp up with the different colors. And that's what it looks like. I did Just Play because you know that's what I love to do, Just Play. And if you like look at it, it's cleaner over here. So this was the first one I did and there's a couple little lines like this section, not too bad, but I carved it off. Like once you stamp it, you can see where you need to fix if you need to fix anywhere. But like my letters are kind of tore up a little bit. Like, you know, they're not completely straight lines. Like, they're tore up because, I mean, it's, I'm a beginner. I'm a, very much a beginner. Um, let's see what else I did love. Love turned out pretty cool. Um, my, my heart could be rounder, you know, but I think it's cool. It's my writing. It's an authentic stamp. So that's what I'm loving about this is that when I do my mixed media now, if I use these stamps... I it's all me there's nothing you know um, anyway it's it's not a big deal but I just think that's kind of cool I'm very I was like happy about that so then I did this this is she did these houses in the book they're super cute um, and I love houses and hers were super cute so of course I had to try let me see I'll find it and I'm zoomed in see that's why I hate zooming in where are you stinking houses? I'm gonna find them. There's letters, which I didn't do letters. I have a lot of different letters already, letter stamps. Matter of fact, I just got another. Um, this one was on clearance at AC Moore. Mostly for clay, $2.99, TPC Studio. But it was a different font that I had, and it has numbers, which I liked. Um, but I'm always picking up different um, alphabets. But yeah, she carves her, her whole alphabet, numbers, everything. And I'm trying to find those houses. I'm going to find them and I'll show you after. I did, but one of, she had a brick wall, like a brick wall. Look how cool that looks. And I put my little bird on there. Here's my little birdie. And I, I mean, I just winged it, you know, but he looks like a little bird. Pretty happy with that one. Um, this little one, I actually did this uh, Kate Crane. I did this when I did the Kate Crane class. So these were, I did do them um, previous to getting this book. Um, what else? And I think that's about, oh, nope, Create. So Create, this, you can't really see it as dark on here because I used, again, 
the Tombow markers, but let's see, like this one is the one that's much messier. There's a lot more carving to do around everything, but this one looks a bit cleaner. I cleaned it up definitely around the bottom and like around the C, I still could clean up a little bit. Um, so yeah, but I love that. I love how that turned out. So I mean, I, I did pretty well. It's like I didn't, you know, I just went for it and that's what happens. I mean, you gotta try it or else you'll never know. Um, so yeah, so let's see, I also have, I have these, um, I was using graph paper because I liked that I could size it out pretty good, but like, see, here's when I did my daisy. This is the first stamping I did of my daisy, and there's all this rubber here still, and then I ended up cutting all that off, so you don't have it, and, and I mean, that was a pretty good clean stamping. I didn't have too much left over until I finally get the final. Um, and then this is this one when I first, first stamped it. See, this is all the extra carving. And I just cut around that too. So you can see like I cut that rubber off. Um, so yeah, so I've been using the, just to get, like when I was writing my letters, just play, I wanted to see how um, big it would be. So let's get uh, my name and I just did this with a number two pencil a number regular number two and all you have to do I'm just gonna set it on here hopefully I'm in the shot and take my brayer I keep calling it a brayer is this a brayer now bone folder and that's how easy it is. And she just uses her thumb, she said. But I just figured, why not? So there it is. That's my name. And I'm going to take a ballpoint pen. This is just a regular old pilot pen. And I'm going to refine the lines and make them how I really want them to be. And this is... One thing I don't like when I do my a word is for the letters to touch. So see how that's touching? I mean, it's not a big deal. I can, it'll be fine. But it's just easier to make a mistake when you, when you put, so I'm going to try and like maybe go over this side more and then I'll go over this side see but now my A is touching it's all right I think it'll be fine so none of this is getting carved the lines that I'm doing right now will not be carved and then of course I'm impatient and I want to skip steps and I think well then all I have to do is carve the pink right and I'll have, and it's fine. But when you start carving into it, underneath there is pink, so you don't know where you've carved. So you really have to do this next step. But let me cut my um, shape here. I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, I, this is just from the dollar store, this exacto bleed. It's like a, um, what do they call it? Like a, a box cutter, I guess. And the reason she likes having a glass mat is because you can feel when you're cut through instead of having it on a, um, a self-healing mat. So that's why, I mean, and I just went looking. It happened to be there because they got they have all their Christmas stuff in right now at the Christmas tree shops. And so this was on clearance, and I loved it. The little numbers. Can't, can't hate that. All right, so this is my stamp. But the next thing I'm going to do, and I know it's time consuming, but you take like a Sharpie or any um, permanent marker and preferably colors that don't look alike. I don't know. I think I can tell green from blue. Um, but I was going to use blue and then I was like, well, I use blue pen, so probably not. 
Yeah, this isn't the best as far as now I'm videoing something and I can see it just fine but maybe on video it's looking really bad so I'm gonna try I'm gonna go with oh, I have every color there is maybe this like magenta color or something this would probably be better yep you can definitely see that so I won't do the whole thing on camera but I'll do enough that you can just see because there's a lot of good um, carving videos uh, actually cat I think cat hand just did one I like cat cat hands a uh, lot of stuff with the jelly plate and stuff but she just carved did a carving video as a matter of fact so we're all kind of on the same page with this so that's the idea sorry about that <laughs> two colors and then you take this is actually the wrong blade I want to start with the um, so that's what happens this is like uh, three pieces this little thing this is like where you stick the blade in between those and you just put it back in here so I want to get uh, the, the very littlest one the littlest a number and they have numbers on the back so that's the number one um, just leave the blades out so in case I need another one um, and then you just put this back on so it's all the way on now I'm just going to gently loosen it and find the little where I could fit this in loosen it up a little bit and you just kind of wiggle and jiggle and there it goes so now it's nice and tight so I'm going to start on this magenta section and I'm just going to hopefully my head won't go into here I guess that, I think I could zoom in a little more too. That would be good. All right. And I'm just going to gently you just give even pressure and kind of glide across. You don't really need to gouge. And again, I am a beginner, so I am just trying it and doing what I think is best. And Julie may even describe this better in the book. Like I know when she does a thing like this, she just keeps going with the little one. You just keep going until you get, see see how easy it was to see where I had carved because I did that marker. So see, if I hadn't, that would just be all pink and I wouldn't <laughs> know the difference, you know. So... That's all there is to it. It's when you do a rounded curve, it says to turn the the um, rubber instead of turn the instead of trying to turn the tool, just turn the rubber. Hopefully, I'm in the shot. Yeah. And I'm, I can go right to the edge because this is all going to be, um, see like right there, I already cut off, so the R is coming across the A, and that's not how I drew it, <laughs> but that's how it's carved because I messed up. So it's not easy, it's just, it is easy enough that you don't have to be afraid to try it, but it's like, it there is a learning curve to it you know so uh, just give it a shot like you don't have to um, like look so anyway I'm gonna go off camera and finish I might maybe you know I mean there I told you there are start to finish stamp carving videos out there and I'm a little I'm a beginner and I want this to turn out pretty good so I'm gonna go away I'll be right back okay so I've got it to a certain point where you can see my name um, I definitely need to do more carving but I'm gonna just stamp it and see where I'm at with it so you just give it some ink and let's see what it looks like all right I mean I like 
everything looks pretty good. I even like the way the R comes across the A. You see that? Like how it, I like that. I think I did pretty good. And you can see where it needs cleanup. Like by that, I just mean these little pieces, little tiny pieces that are there. I mean, and that could be left there and it looks perfectly like authentic. You see, that's the thing. It is a hand carved tile. Um, it is a hand carved stamp, so. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I changed my blade to like, I don't know which number. Oh, this is the five. And then, what you can do is just take it and I guide this um, edge of the blade along where I've already carved and you can just take that edge right off carefully because sometimes my eyes deceive me <laughs> and I am not on point but yes yeah, so this is how I kind of there's another big blade and you know what else don't carve into your finger. Um, I've been known to to do stupid stuff like that because I I used to cut myself when I did um, mosaic tiles with glass because I'm hasty and I I get I don't know I don't think so see now this is cleaning up a lot of the um, little pieces that were left and I'm just getting a nice um, clean or outside because you can use your scissors too to just cut the edges but I'm gonna go in here a little bit with this bigger blade and hope I don't mess it up come off um, right here and I can even still see the ink the pink ink that I stamped see this blade might be a little too wide I'm gonna get there's um, this number, I'll bet you this is number two. Yep, because I could tell because it's just, it's the same kind of, it's got a smaller, I don't know what, I have no words today, but I wanted to be able to go in here with it and go a little deeper. These go a little deeper than that very first one, so it's easy to clean up so I'll stamp this again in a minute and I think we're looking good here I think we're looking good <clears throat> there one um, Julie does mention in the book and I'm sure there's tons I have to read the book I have to actually sit and read quite a bit of it because I'm sure she she tells me a lot of things that would be helpful because one thing she says is um, when you're doing this <clears throat> you are hunched over and your you know your posture is not the best so take breaks and that I mean I carved one two three four five six seven seven stamps the other night and I I overdid it I think you know but um, so she says it in there eight stamps maybe uh, so just take take breaks don't hurt yourself and my arm my right arm has been hurting lately I don't know what is going on with it Ta da! I love it and I definitely could still do some cleaning up like these I could even just take my scissors right on this edge here and go if anything's sticking up you know how when you get those stamps that you have to trim so basically that's all you gotta do there and I guess I could still come in right under here I just don't want to mess it up and clean it up aha There we go. So it's fun. And like I said, um, it's authentic. And if you're into doing your own mixed media and stuff like that, it's just one more thing you can add to the, to the mix is your own carved stamps. How cool is that, right? 
but you know what I, I hope we never run out of things for me to try because honestly I love trying new things I just do and I mean who knows well I will but oh Julie absolutely I'll show you I'll go back to the book let me just stamp this one more time and see if I cleaned up all my spaces um, wait Julie stamps on a uh, fabric and makes her own like prints or something you know what I mean I'll show you I'll show you what she does and I'm pushing so hard it probably wouldn't be anywho I like it all right so I'm gonna show you real quick just one more thing in the book this is something I would like and I know she's had seminars and classes on doing this this is called quarter stamping I think she calls it oh there's the houses I just saw them there they are those are the houses that I was talking about so just a bunch of different styles and then she even did bottoms and tops so you could just mix and match look at this little fishy the little fishy with the underwater and look she makes a tag or puts it inside a little whatever italics whatever are they called brackets um, football and pennants she carved that football how cute and then this branch like she makes it like a tree and then just has different things and she just put leaves all over see I would do like this in threes like make three leaves and then it would go faster but she made a fall tree and a spring tree and I don't know cool right and then look at all this stuff I mean just she is such a creative person so creative then she has like little banners with all types of words the months the days selfie yum happiness then there's triple stamping like three-part interlocking stamp set I mean crazy so you start with one two three I have to I have to read this I have no idea um, and this is the gallery of interlocking stamps but let me see if she if it's back here seamless repeat right so this is a stamp and then if you stamp it right back to back to back this is the pattern that you get and so she has you doing it on a grid um, the same thing here here's like half a stamp but then when you stamp it back to back you get that amazing she's just I mean it's good stuff then there's a quarter so she only did a quarter of the stamp but then when you do it four times you get so it's a lot less carving right you only have to carve it one time and you could do a big one and then have a big pattern oh man she's amazing looks like she's stamping it on fabric or pattern paper so here's the gallery of the quarter repeat so if she uses different color um, fabrics embroidered clutch so she's getting it from like embroidery look at that and she's using distress inks to ink the stamp oh she's making her own stamp pad sorry I'm getting excited <laughs> that was so weird custom stamp pads now I've seen this and they use the um this this stuff oh man I know what it is it's called uh, Wow cut and dry foam and then when you ink up your stamp it's all different colors <gasps> sorry I'm too excited all right so anyway Wow me and then this is stamp collage OMG Wow she's amazing honestly crazy crazy stuff look at that I would never think of it so uh, my review is get the book it's awesome have fun carve stamp play that's what you gotta do all right you guys thanks for watching